all right my super fam today we have a quick videos on some of the most hidden chests throughout sumeru i know that we all love chests and we've always been trying to farm as many chests as possible to get as many rewards and primo gems as we can however sometimes there are hidden chests that's just really difficult to find because they just scatter out throughout the world or you also have to complete a series quest in order to unlock them and so in this video i will be showing you how to unlock this luxurious chest this this and also this as well as well as many other chests throughout this video so that you can satisfy your hunger of collecting chests now talking about chest collection our main goal is collecting primo gems within the chest and so talking about primo gems in collaboration with Paimon's bargains we are doing a 6480 primo gems giveaway once patch 3.1 comes and so if you want to have a chance to be able to pull for Nilo, Sino or Candice as well as the rerun character within the patch be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my discord server to have the chance to win the giveaway link to discord channel down in the description guys and with that let us go into hidden chest farming now first of all i want to say my thanks to this three discord member right here who have helped me a lot with finding out these hidden chests without their help i would not have been able to succeed so the majority of these chests are going to be either hidden in that you have to complete a series of steps or quests in order to unlock them or many of them can't be found on the interactive map which is why we have this video to help you out so the first hidden chest i would call it is going to be the gonda hill luxurious chest in which you will have to find three common chests throughout sumeru obtain those chests and once you have done so the luxurious chest will spawn i have marked the chest location with our meat icon here so this meat here is going to be our luxurious chest spawn location this one here is going to be the first chest location after you've done that the next spawn location is going to be at chakram cave and then the third one is going to be just right above ganda hill how you obtain the three common chests is pretty simple you just go to the location you first defeat the slimes and then once you've done there will be a flower that you can activate once you activate that there will be some fungi for you to defeat as well and once you finish that, a chest will spawn. So that's going to be the first location. For the second location, it's going to be similar. You defeat some slime over here and then activate the flower. For this second one here, you want to activate the jumping mushroom. And then after you've done so, jump on the mushroom so that you can collect two oculi above us. Now, I've already done this before, so I can't really show you here. But once you finish that, the chest will spawn and then you can go to the third location. The third location is going to be quite similar as well. You just defeat the slime once again activate the flower after that you use kale to use her dendro power and then you shoot that vine once you're done that the chest will appear and that should be our third chest now you can go to our luxurious chest location once you're there you will be seeing that however it's still unlocked because some of these fungi guy will appear so that you have to defeat them first and then once you're done the luxurious chest is yours next we'll have a sumptus beast following chest there will be a sumptus beast at a mark location Location with our meat right here you can just teleport to the statue of the seven teleportation point near that and then once you're there go to the mark location you should see a sumptus beast that is currently walking now what you want to do is just stay by its side and follow it until the very end of its journey it's going to be quite a long journey so just bear with it chill with the game just slightly and then once you're done you will have the chest now something to note is that you might want to clear out all of the enemies during its path before you go here is the current map of the whole journey so you want to travel through this map first and clear out all the enemies on the path because if there are still enemies on the path the sumptuous beast will be angry and you will have to redo the whole journey again next we are going to be having a series of chests being unlocked because we are going to be clearing out our di cave quest it's actually going to be a quite long series of unlock and I do recommend you to already have done the third chapter of Aranara quest in order to be able to unlock everything during this cave chest. So first we'll go to this meat location over here. Once you're at the location, you can just go straight in and then you will see yourself at an entrance with a lock dendro pillar. It's very easy to open. Just use our dendro element and you will open up the path. Once you're in, you will want to do this music puzzle because once you have finished that, this 
door here will unlock. Then once you're inside, you'll see this whole giant cave with a love mushroom here. What you want to do next is that you can explore in your own accord a little bit and then try to unlock our ruin god prison right here. Once you're done that, defeat the ruin grader and then you will open up a quick cutscene with the Aranara. Once you're done that, turn right around and you should have an exquisite chest. Now after you're done, teleport to this domain here. Due to you clearing out the ruin grader, the water level under this cave should also be reduced. Now we can go to the lower level of this cave. There would be a withering zone down here so it's easy enough. Just complete it and once you complete that, a luxurious chest will spawn. And there you go. Congratulations. You have gotten most of the chests under the cave. But it's not over yet because if you walk straight ahead, you will end up back into the giant cave you've been before. Just that you are now under a deeper level. There's also going to be a precious chest lock here so you want to defeat all of the ruined enemies and once you're done that the precious chest will be yours next is what i call the nine exquisite chest quest because you're going to be getting a decent amount of primo gems after you have completed this chest or you will be digging up nine exquisite chests basically around apam woods there's already a markdown location here for you to follow so spend a little bit of time to mark down for it to be easy to follow so your next job is going to be quite simple just go to every single location and then try to find the place where you can dig up the chest here are going to be the location and the place where you can dig up each of the chests now each chest are going to be just giving you one mora but at the end of the quest you will be getting a lot of reward And once you have dig up all of the chests, you will acquire a treasure map. Now if you open that treasure map up, you should be able to know which place it is. However, the place is going to be right here where I will be marking the location. Once you're there, you will be able to dig up a chest where you will have a decent amount of reward. However, it is not over yet, but you have another location where it points toward. After that, you can just go right ahead to this location right here. The Feed all of the fungi so that they don't interrupt you. And then the final chest location should be right here. You can dig it up and all of the rewards are going to be yours. Congratulations for this is basically the longest treasure hunt chest I've done throughout the game. Next we'll be having a co-op quest where the only way you can unlock this chest is through having a co-op member. You only need another person for you can go ahead and teleport to our artifacts domain right here. And then right in front of it you will be seeing two giant jumping mushroom. Go ahead and two of you jump onto the mushroom and then the chest will be unlocked. Next we'll be going through basically all of the hidden chests throughout Sumeru. First we'll start off with a luxurious chest at the very top of Sumeru city tree. Now if you've already gone through the path where you can collect all of Dendro Oculus you might have already gotten this luxurious chest but for the sake of the video I'll just show you how to get there as well. First you go up to the top of the tree to this marked location right here. You should 
have a dendral oculus and then if you look to the right hand side at the top branch right there there will be actually a parrot where if you go ahead and run up next to it it will fly away getting you an achievement now i've already done it so it won't be showing me again and then right after if you turn to the right once again and head down there will be a luxurious chest in one of this branch if i'm not mistaken it should be around this branch right here i can't remember the correct location because i've already gotten the chest but i believe it should be very easy and only around this branch is right here after that you teleport down to this teleportation point and try to get yourself to this meat mark location right here how you get there is that you will want to head up straight on the next platform you can jump down glide a little bit spiral down and then there will be a luxurious chest at this exact location here once you're done with deleting all of your excessive artifacts in your inventory seriously mihoyo just give us more inventory for our artifacts you can go ahead and teleport back to this teleportation point turn to your right hand side drop down right below you will have a precious chest once you're done you can go ahead and teleport back to that exact teleportation point now what we're going to do is that we're gonna be turning left and drop down to this pool down here once you're down there will be a common chest at this specific location after that we will head to sumeru city's underground where our lovely nilu have performed her sub-zero dance now once you're there head straight up you will first want to turn left and then head straight behind this counter because behind the counter you will find a common chest once you have done that you can go ahead and go to the opposite side where our lovely asra is standing and right behind some of these beautiful looking pots there are gonna be a common chest seriously though they should have put a luxurious chest so that they actually match the color of all of these beautiful pots right here all right once you're that you can go ahead and teleport to this point here now what we want to do is that we go straight up to this high wall climb that and right above it there should be a common chest after that you will want to glide toward this opposite house because there is also a common chest right here after that you teleport back to that past teleportation point now what you want to do is you want to turn around drop right below try not to drop Kuching down to the river and get her wet like i did because that's not where the common chest is the common chest is going to be behind our market counter right here and then for the final location in sumeru city you want to go to this teleportation point go up the path just slightly and then jump down there will be an exquisite chest below below this point now i've already gotten the chest so it doesn't appear here but if you haven't collected there would be an exquisite chest next we're going to be heading to port almost first you want to head to this teleportation point go ahead to the middle of the bridge and then you want to turn a little bit left drop right down follow the path that i'm doing right here and then you climb up where there should be a precious chest waiting for you now turn right back to our old teleportation point go straight all the way up and then turn a little bit to the right now you want to go straight up to the bush over here where you will find an exquisite chest hidden behind it after that you want to turn around jump down here and then glide yourself to the top of this building where there will be a common chest right behind it and then after that you see the ship right over there yes that is going to be our next location glide yourself toward that ship hop onto the ship where you will find a precious chest at the top of it and that should be our basically most of the chests in port almost now i don't know if that should be all of the chests hidden throughout sumeru city and port almost but i believe that should have been almost all of them and so so if you do happen to find any others let me know down in the comment section and that guys is going to be all of my hidden chests that i can show you through this video i hope that it has been helpful and it's been enjoyable throughout the video once again guys if you're new to the channel be sure to not miss out on our next giveaway of 6480 primo gems once patch 3.1 drops so if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my discord server where we will
will be holding a lot of giveaways and with that guys i really appreciate you guys and i will catch you on my next video